Yo, what's up Freeze Army and welcome to the Eccleston Illumination Escalation. This is level from level 1 to 5 all in one video. My name is Mr. Freeze2244 and for this one we're going to start in the laboratory area already dressed as the lab technician. We're going to need to take out the target while wearing this disguise so it's perfect um, location for us to start on. So immediately we're going to head straight to where we're going to need to go. We're going to head up right up these stairs up here and then we're going to turn off the generator that's just up the top. It's very, very simple uh, level one. Uh, as soon as we turn off the generator, the target is going to come up the stairs and gives us a perfect opportunity to take him out very, very quickly. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult at all. We're going to pull out a coin and just going to throw it there once he heads to, uh, once he actually gets to the top of the stairs. Why? It's because if he goes to the generator and we kill him there, somebody will spot you. So that's why we have to get him over to this uh, left area over here. So we're just going to go and shoot him in the head. Then once you've done that, you can go straight to where the plane exit is and that will complete level 1, Silent Assassin, for this escalation. So you're probably thinking, uh, you know, that's, that's a bit easy, isn't it, really? But it does uh, get a lot of it uh, harder, especially when it comes to level 5, when they completely change everything up. So you start to learn a strategy and start to do different uh, same paths and stuff like that. And it keeps mixing things up because of the new wildcard system. But anyway, that's level 1. Assault Assassin rating, so we can go ahead and move on to level 2. And for level 2, uh, we've got to take out the same target, only this time we've got a, uh, a laptop to uh, to hack into. So what you're going to need is two explosives in your inventory. Um, I'm going to use both rubber ducks that are available to me. You can use a remote explosive on one of the rubber ducks if you want to, we just need to create two explosions. So from the start, I'm going to turn off that generator right there and take out the first target first, and then we'll get to the laptop after. Because we've got to hack a laptop, and it takes 30, no, 20 seconds to hack the laptop, and there's four lab technicians in there. The problem is, um, they will see you every time you try to hack it, so this is the only way to do it. So we're going to distract the guard right there with one of the ducks, because I don't have any coins, because I've got two ducks in my inventory. I'm going to take them out the same way as we did before in the previous level by shooting him in the back of the head. We're going to leave his body there for now. And uh, Actually, no, we're going to hide his body, actually. We need to, because we need to create the uh, the distraction to get the lab technicians out of there. So we're just going to drop uh, two rubber ducks right here. Just drop another one right there. And once we've done that, we can uh, go ahead and detonate it whenever you feel, want to, whenever you feel like doing it. I'm going to do it inside the laboratory. There we go. And explode the other one as well. And two explosions should get these lab technicians out of the room. Now we're just going to wait for all of them to leave the room. And once all of them have left this lab area, we'll have plenty of time to hack the laptop. So we're just going to wait for this dude to leave. Uh, the AI is a bit stupid sometimes. But he's going back to his station, so okay, he's completely fine. But on most occasions, this will happen. Um, everyone will leave the area. Sometimes the AI won't leave. You'll just they just go back to what they was doing there. But if it's just this guy, then it's completely fine. If they don't all leave, you'll have to restart this because the AI is all messed up, really. So anyway, that's gonna hack the laptop there. Because like I said, you have plenty of time to do that. We're gonna head to the same exit as we did before in the previous previous level. We're gonna watch out for the camera just above us right now. So we're gonna crouch, run past this part, and circle around. And we're gonna head to the plane right here, and that will complete level two uh, of this escalation. Silent Assassin. That's the five star rating. So for level three, we have an additional target. So. We're going to have to take him out uh, as well. We can use any disguise to take him out, so that's completely fine. So uh, what we're going to take care of first is the uh, the first target, which we did in the previous levels. Now, once you get up here, the second target is going to be making his way over to the same area where this first target is. So I'm going to turn off this generator, and we're going to run over here. If you Use your instinct for this one, because you're going to need it. So what we're going to do is create an accident kill, and how are we going to do that? Is uh, first of all, we're going to throw that duck there to distract this guy coming up the stairs. And as soon as you do that, straight away, pull out your gun and shoot that stalactite right there. And that will land on one of the targets and create an accident kill. Remember that, what I was talking about in the previous video? So, yeah, that will create an accident kill and it's not going to bother your score or anything like that. So, we're going to throw another duck there to distract our first target initially. 
and that's going to bring him over here. And what we're going to do is we're doing the previous two levels now to shoot him in the back of the head and uh, hide his body. Like I said, if you want to make sure you hit that first target, you, what you could do really is just um, take out the first target with the, uh, the stalactite first and then do the generator. You don't have to do it all in one as I did. So once we've left those ducks right there, we're going to go ahead and explode them. Explode the other one. So we're just going to blend in for now until everybody leaves the lab. And like I said, as soon as they do, we can go ahead and like hack their laptop. Unfortunately, this is the only way uh, to get all these lab technicians to leave the lab. Um, I mean, I suppose you could go the long route and take everybody out, but that would be very, very complicated and a bit risky. This is the easiest way to do it. So once we've hacked the laptop, we've completed all objectives and we can head to the exit. And again, we're heading to the same exits as we did before in the previous two levels. And uh, yeah, we're just going to crouch, run past this camera just at the top here and circle around. Head straight to the plane, and that will complete level three, Son Assassin, and that's that done. So level four is where they start mixing things up. Uh, we've got the same two targets. However, you have to take one of the targets out with an amputation knife, and the other target we have to take him out using a uh, explosive golf ball. So we're going to start off in the safe house. So make sure you grab that explosive golf ball, and uh, we're going to head down here. I don't know why they've done this for level 4, it's just, it seems a massive inconvenience to me, but this is how you're basically going to do it. So once you get into this kitchen area, we're going to crouch, run through here. Uh, unless you didn't know, the tresp in trespassing areas you can crouch, run anywhere you want and they won't hear your footsteps. So we're going to wait for the chef to turn around. And as soon as he do does, we can head out this window on your left. We're going to crouch, run around this plantain in the middle and head to that window. Make sure, you make sure your crouch run all the way there, otherwise anyone will hear your footsteps. So from this point we can carry on running. So first of all we're going to need to get the amputation knife and that's going to be the one on the left. This one right here. And we're going to need to grab the, the lab key card right here. And once you've done that we can head straight to the lab and uh, get on with what we have to do. So just use your lab key card on here. Next, we're going to pull out our pistol, and we so there's a scientist coming down this walkway right here. So we're just going to drop the gun right next to that blue barrel right there. What that's going to happen? He's going to see the gun, and he's going to turn around. And once he's done that, we can sneak up behind him and uh, knock him out and take his disguise because we're going to need it. Otherwise, we'll get spotted immediately with the disguise we've got on right now. So crouch, run all the way up to his position. He won't hear your footsteps. So subdue him. You can leave his body here, no one comes back around here, and, uh, ooh, <laughs> okay, uh, I think he tried to nip up there. So we're going to take his disguise and pick up our weapon, and then we can proceed to do what we're going to do. So if the two targets are together like that, you're going to turn off the generator, and that's going to distract the target that we need to take out with the amputation knife. Now the guard on the right is going to be the guard you need to take out with your amputation knife, remember that. So if they're not in that position, uh, I advise you to wait until they're both targets are there in front of each other and uh, then turn off the generator, otherwise this is not going to work. So fortunately for me, it just, uh, you know, it just, it just happened to be them two together at that time. So we're going to wait for him to turn the generator on, that is a really important thing. Wait for him to turn the generator on. Once he's done that, we can throw the rubber duck in this corner by this crate. And we we'll take out the amputation knife and slice his neck once you get behind him. Okay. There we go. And then we can go ahead and dump his body in the crate. The reason why I'll wait for him to turn the generator back on, because if he does not turn it back on, once we uh, put it on and put it, turn it back off again, he will, the other guard won't get distracted. So it's really important that we uh, wait for that guard to turn the generator back on. So now we can turn it off and distract the other target. Now we've got to kill this guy with an explosive golf ball, so this is going to be interesting. 
So what we're going to first do is, uh, we don't have to wait for him to turn the generator back off, so what we're going to do is just distract him first where the crate is, and then we're going to knock him out first, and then explode him with the golf ball. So we're just going to throw one of the rubber ducks over there first. So he's going to get distracted, uh, we can go just get behind him and subdue him. So make sure his body is relatively close to that crate on the right. So then we can pull out our explosive golf ball and throw it next to his body, not at him directly, because he will get fl he'll fly off into nowhere, and that's not what you don't. That's basically not what you don't want. So immediately we can put his body in the crate and then uh, drop that rubber duck that we had before, and just explode that. So that will count as the second explosion, including the golf ball, and that should uh, get rid of all these lab technicians in this lab right here. So once they're all left, we can go ahead and have the laptop. The only lab technician you have to worry about in here is the woman. So you have to make sure you don't bump into her or she sees you. That's why our crouch ran into this room. So basically once we've done that, we've uh, finished with level 4. We can just head straight to the exit and that will do that for level 4. There we go. We're going to take the same exit the way as we've done in the previous levels. Again, watch out on your minimap to see if there's any white dots. You want to avoid those. They're going to be in random positions, so I can't instruct you where exactly to go. But for now, we're just going to crouch run past that camera below. See, with the NPCs, they could be in random positions, so uh, you just have to sneak around them to get to this plane. It should be completely fine, but that's, that's how you do level 4 of this escalation. Now for level 5, they've mixed things up yet again. We've got the same two targets, however, you've got to take them out while dressed as the Plague Doctor and you have to take him out with the Katana which is the sword, like a ninja sword and we've still got to hack the laptop and you can only pick up the, the Katana in the Plague Doctor's disguise so again make sure you have two explosive ducks in your inventory and we're going to start in the lab technician area so we're going to get rid of a couple of things first now we've got two extra guards up in this area because the developers know that uh, we're going to get use the generator for this so grab that hammer as you come up here and then this is the guard we need to take out get right behind him and smack him in the head and then we're going to drag his body opposite this is like a set of stairs right here we're just going to drag him up one level i'm just going to leave his body right there because no one else comes back around this area so now we can uh, head back down to the stairs where he was before as soon as you get to this first crate on your right, we're just going to crouch and drop the two rubber ducks that you have, or any explosives that you may have, and then crouch and hug the, uh, this crate up to the right here, and just place the gun on the floor. If you don't know how to do that, it's L1 and R1 on the PS4, and LB and RB on the Xbox. So he's going to find that gun on the floor, and we're going to attack him with the hammer, because we need to knock him out, and we're going to put him in the crate. Pick up the shotgun and move it out of the way and put it next to the crate right here and pick up your weapon as well. Re-equip your detonator for one of your ducks, it doesn't matter which one. So once we're inside the lab area we can go ahead and explode it. It will explode both ducks because they're right next to each other and it will drop a stalactite as well to make sure all of these technicians leave the lab. Again this can be completely random, some of them might not even leave uh, which is really really annoying especially this woman. But uh, you want to make sure that you're all left. Like this woman right here. It's random AI, this is what it is. So once they've finally all left the lab, we can go ahead and hack the laptop. Again, you'll have plenty of time to do this, so you won't have to worry about anybody. So don't worry about that. So this is the very this is the hardest part, trust me. This was the hardest part to get out of the way. This is the reason why I'm doing it this way and having to backtrack. But it is the fastest and easiest way because if you fuck this up right at the end, that's going to have make you have to restart the whole thing and that's not what you don't want. This is exactly the reason why I started in this area first. So uh, so if you do make any mistakes or anything like that, you can go ahead and restart and it's not going to cost you too much time. So now we've hacked the laptop, now we can go and grab the, uh, the Play Doctor disguise because that's what we're going to need next. So that's where we're going to head to. You'll always you'll already have the lab card on you, so you'll be able to get through this door right here. So we're going to head straight to the second floor. And here. Now, if you're too slow, uh, Caruso will already be in the room. And if that's the case, then you'll uh, have to just wait for him. Just for about a minute or two. Um, 
but for me it just came it comes in right now so what we're going to do is uh, as soon as he turns around we can crouch run past them all you can, like again they can't hear your footsteps since the update they can't hear your footsteps if you crouch run anywhere there's another guard on the other side of the door so we're just going to wait for him to move out of the way as well so once he's done that we can crouch run past these guys and head upstairs to the top floor and through the door and up the pipe on your left because what we're going to need to do now is get the the katana sword so make sure you crouch run on this roof you don't want to distract anybody again with your footsteps make sure you grab this crowbar as well because we're going to need that for a little bit later again crouch run across the roof because if you do a normal run it's going to distract people around to this area and it's not what you really want again we're going to crouch run across this roof as well we're going to pick up a brick on this rock on the just on the right here on these sandbags now once you've opened the door we're just going to throw the brick against that wall here because there's two people inside uh, having a conversation and it takes a long time for them to finish their conversation so I decided to just um, you know distract them and get it out of the way so he's gonna come over and get a bit suspicious because he threw that brick and as soon as he turns around I'm gonna smack him in the head with this crowbar so there you go so you can crouch behind him and smack him in the head and with the other guy just throw it at his head and we're gonna put the, both these guards in a crate you probably don't have to put them in the crates, but on um, one of the occasions when I tried to do this, the, I had a body found on my screen. So I was guessing it's probably these two guards here. So just to be safe, I'll put it uh, on the, both in the crates. And this is where the katana is going to be. So again, you can only equip that if you're wearing this disguise, otherwise it will be mission failed. So from this point, we can, we can no longer bother with the crouch running because it's not necessary anymore. So we can just run across this roof here. And head back down to the lab area. That's where we need to do, go to finish off this particular mission. So it's all the way down to the bottom of the stairs. Like I said, the hardest part about this level 5 was just hacking that laptop and getting all the technicians to leave the lab. So once we're actually in the lab area, make sure you crouch, run everywhere because otherwise everyone will hear your footsteps. There's a lab technician just opposite us, so we're just going to get behind that uh, box there just before he spots us. He shouldn't spot you anyway, so don't worry about that. So again, we're going to use the generator to distract both of these guys. We're going to have to take them up both the same way, so it doesn't really matter about uh, waiting periods or anything like that. The other target's just gone off the other side of the area. But for this one, again, we're turning off the generator, making sure he turns it back on before we take him out. Second target is just over there. So as soon as he turns it back on, we're just going to throw the crowbar in this corner right now. He's going to see the shotgun that's in the corner as well, so that will give us a little bit more time. So make sure you crouch behind him and use the stealth attack. And then we're going to put his body in the crate. Now we're going to turn off the generator just as where the our target is just there. So make sure you move these guns out of the way as well. You don't get them in the way really. Make sure you pick up the crowbar as well. Now this guy doesn't need to turn the generator on so we just need to create a distraction. So as soon as he's up here we can do what we did before and throw the crowbar in that corner. There we go. And he just like the other one is going to discover the guns on the floor. So you can just go and attack him silently. And you can leave his body there. Drop the katana. Drop it before you put this disguise on. Because if you put the disguise on while you're holding it, you will fail. And I've done that twice and that really, really annoyed me. <laughs> so uh, make sure you don't make the same mistake. So from this point, we can basically just run all the way to the exit, really. But again, making sure you avoid this camera just above us right now. Just crouch past that just to be sure. Yeah, so make sure you drop that katana just before you put this disguise on or you will fail. Uh, you don't want to have any, trust me. So, uh, yeah. That's going to do it for this entire escalation. So that's all five levels all in the same video. So, thank you very much for watching. I'm sure, I hope I helped you out with this particular escalation. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to hit like on the video if I did. Subscribe here if you're new and for future updates. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.